First thing, understand what's available, what's already there, and how is aluminium being used, but also look at as many products as possible. Take notes, take photos, put as, as many things down on paper as possible. You need to have as many ideas and then one of them will be the best idea. You need to be always asking, why is something done the way that it is? Someone somewhere has made that decision that we will, we will do this this way. It's your role as a designer to question that and to really look at what else can be done. I would always, always look at function. You need to look at how a product is used and work backwards. Function would always be first, followed by form. You can always design something around what it's supposed to do. You need to look at what the product is, how it works, how it doesn't work. You need to talk to as many people as possible, get as many ideas. So don't just look at a product, talk to, talk to people, understand how they use that product. The absolute first stage of any design is to create a sketch by hand with a pencil and a bit of paper. Whether I'm going to work on CAD or whether I'm going to go straight to the toolmaker, it will always start with a very rough sketch. You don't always need to use a CAD package. You can quite easily get your message across with a very quick sketch showing the basic form of the product. Firstly, you need to understand that every single person in that team will bring something different. They'll all have different experiences and we all see things in different ways. Talk to everyone, you need to get as many ideas down on paper. Don't discount any ideas at the first stage. Everybody needs to have their say and get their points across. I would have to say that the design for sustainability is absolutely critical. The way in which we are working through our natural resources means that every single consumer wants to be helping the environment if you're going to design a product, you need to be thinking about the environmental impact of that product all the way through to its carbon footprint. The clear benefit of working with aluminium is that it can be endlessly recycled and possibly within 60 days this particular tray could be a drinks can, it could be part of a car, it could be anything. It's a great material to use and work with.